Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a mature senile cataract with very hard nucleus. This is a totally unedited recording. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome about 3 o'clock hours away from the main incision on the left side. This is a side port. And now, a big air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. Under this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule taking care of uniform staining. All parts of the capsule must get touch of the dye. This is adrenaline and now the dye is washed out with BSS. And now, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used as viscoelastic substance and visco is injected into the anterior chamber just before the capsular excess. And now, we are going to a higher magnification for better visibility. A uterita forceps is being used and we can see that there is no leakage of any fluid as the anticapsule is punctured. So, this is not an intumescent cataract and we can do a large rexis at on go and a large rexis is necessary to manage this hard nucleus. If we do a small sized rexis, then nucleus management will be very difficult. There will be much stress on the jonule during manipulations and during management of the nucleus. So, a large rexis is necessary in hard cataracts. And now, the tip is exposed a little more so that more ultrasonic energy is delivered into the substance of the nucleus. Now, watch my technique, Mohanta's submarine jaw. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed with bevel down of the phaco needle and then the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. And now, with the help of the chopper, the nucleus is pushed little down and the tip is buried just in front of the main incision and the tip travels through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator. And as it reaches near the opposite equator, the chopper is used to get a nice crack. Now, 180 degree rotation is done and the lower hemineucleus is caught hold of and the nucleus is separated into two heminuclei. Each heminucleus is also divided into two large fragments. And now we come to the other heminucleus. The tip always goes through the substance of the nucleus and a firm hold and the chopper is used to make two large fragments. Now, each fragment is caught hold of and it is subdivided into smaller pieces. From the very beginning, we are in high vacuum, 450 millimeter of mercury vacuum, high flow that is 45 ml per minute and high power that is 85 percent ultrasonic energy in continuous mode. This is the second large fragment. We tilt the fragment start emulsifying this piece from the apex and again subdivide the piece into two smaller pieces and emulsify. Note that no small piece is running here and there, not running helter skelter and not hitting the back of the cornea. This is a nice way to protect the corneal endothelium. 
Emulsification is carried out in the bag and the tip is always at the iris plane. The tip of the FECO needle is never anteriorly and the tip is most of the time at the center where the cone endothelium and posterior capsule both are far away from the tip. This is the last nuclear fragment. During this time the parameters are reduced to go to FECO 3 mode where the vacuum is 250, fluoride is 30 and ultrasonic energy is being used as 70 percent. Because you have to take this precaution because there is no cortex which is lying over the no epinucleus or cortex which is protecting to protect the posterior capsule. So, if the posterior capsule is just kissed by the tip of the FECO needle, there will be a rent. In this case, I am using the, I used the chopper to protect the posterior capsule and uh, there is a speck of epinucleus. To remove that, I am going to enlarge the main wound little bit and I will use a B cartridge. So, implantation of the intraocular lens also will be easier. Now, to remove this speck of the nucleus, I just use the Simco, use mild white vacuum to guide it, to escort it out of the antechamber. And now, little bit of cleaning is there, very little cortex is there in this case. So, cortex, epinucleus, everything has been incorporated into the nucleus in this hard cataract. And now, there are no cells on the posterior capsule and hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being done. The lens goes the capsular bag and now this is dialing by the irrigating probe itself. So, we have almost completed the case. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now, the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma injecting BSS into the stroma on either side of the stab wound and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. At this time a gentle stream of BSS is directed towards the back of the cornea to remove any viscous sticking to this and then the anterior chamber is formed and the case is concluded. So, this was a very hard mature senile cataract. We did a large rexis so that junular stress becomes less. We did submarine chop to divide the nucleus into four fragments. Emulsified the fragments with high energy, high vacuum, high flow. Hydro implanted the intraocular lens and then did a final lavage and the lens looks like this. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.